Okay, I've got a new DC power supply. Thank you, Mr. Gerald Morin. Um, what we've got here is we're supplying DC power here, and I can vary it right now. It's at 59 volts coming to this terminal strip, coming over to the kill switch, over to this board. And you can see here it's uh, 59 volts DC bus being supplied uh, on the GUI Texas Instruments. Um, now we've got this motor spinning here. I've got a reading coming out from this motor here. I guess it's an outrunner, output motor, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's coming down over to this um, rectifier. And it transfers, uh, uh, changes from AC to DC just to get a voltage reading of an output that we've got here and uh, give you an idea. 97 volts, this is an output reading from this motor. This motor is being um, fed by this driver board and being pulsed to spin. And this is the output that we're reading here with this meter. So I've got an input voltage, input amps, and an output uh, voltage all at one single time. And I can vary the voltage. I can lower it down. And you can see the motor speed is actually lowering. And the voltages are changing. I can drop it down to uh, a slight voltage, whatever I want to put DC into it. It got it down to 32. I've still got a 52 output. Anyway, I'll bring this up, back up to, uh, I don't want to put too much into it. Around 59 is all I want to do. 60 will, will probably blow this driver board, um, which I'm not really anxious to do, but uh, it, it should have some safety features on there, which would prevent me from doing that, hopefully. Let's bring this up and you can see the difference in voltages from the what I'm putting in to what I'm actually getting out around 59 that's all I really want to pump it uh, so we've got 97 96 volts DC coming out on this on this output runner output motor runner and what I'm pumping into it is you can see here 59 volts point Three amps. So pretty neat. Pretty cool machine.